हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड शेयर टू योर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज वर्चुअल लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क बेसिकली वील एंड इज यूज टू डू द सेपरेशन और द आइसोलेशन ऑफ द लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क विद इन अ फिजिकल नेटवर्क इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दैट इज मीन्स देर इज ऑलरेडी अ नेटवर्क अवेलेबल इन योर नेटवर्क इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू आइसोलेट the smaller network from that network that can be done by the help of what vlans so it converts the single broadcast domain into multiple multiple or distinct broadcast domains basically and there are some benefit of the vlan like network segmentation enhanced securities and simplified network management it improves the performance it provides flexibility and scalability in the network now the question is that why do we use the vlan basically why there is a need of vlan okay so let us assume this is a network available this is our sales department right and another one this is our hr department now what is happen basically if there is any broadcast generated in the sales department that will be forwarded to the switch but switch has a property to broadcast every single packet so it will broadcast that packet into other department also if any broadcast will be received it will be forwarded to everyone that is means it will be automatically forward to the hr department so this is a big issue that a broadcast coming from the sales department or another department is disturbing the entire department right so there must be a solution for the above problem the above problem has a solution like this by using multiple switches but dear this is not a cost effective solution and still the broadcast will be forwarded to the others okay so let's observe this practically okay so this is my sales department on the left side and on right side we have the hr department basically okay now whenever any broadcast will be generated in the sales department will be automatically forward to the other departments let observe this okay i am providing an ip address 192.168.10.2 whenever i will press enter an r request will be automatically generated and forwarded to the switch what the switch will do switch will broadcast this r pin to every single to every single pc that is means all the pcs got the same message unknown broadcast and this is not good for the network to receive the unknown broadcast from any other network so dear all how you can eliminate the issue so i have a cost effective i i have a solution for the above problem, problem that by using multiple switches instead of the single switch how we can do that i will use multiple switches in place of this one okay let me add three different switches 1 2 3 three switches but dear all this is not a cost effective solution to use multiple switches and still you cannot save the broadcast in this problem like whenever i will provide the ip address to any pc it will still forward the broadcast to other one 192.168.10.3 and arp will be generated this will be forwarded to the switch switch will broadcast that but it will still broadcast so you can see still if you are using the multiple switches you cannot you cannot stop the broadcast this is this means this solution is not a cool solution for the above problem so what you will do so we will do the logical segmentation of the network by the help of what by the help of vlan concept so let me again connect these so i will do what i will logically divide this switch into multiple switches by the help of what vlan that is means half switch will be used for the left side and will behave like a separate switch and half switch will be used as a separate switch and will behave like a different switch i'm using the one switch but it will be logically divided into two so how we can do that we can do that by the help of 
by the help of creating the VLAN on the switch. So I will allot the first two or three interfaces to the VLAN 2. Now VLAN 2 is the grouping number 2. This is logical grouping of interfaces. And other two or three interfaces will be allotted to VLAN number 3. That is means it will be separately the interface that is in VLAN 3 will be separately behave as the different switch and the interfaces allotted to VLAN 2 also behave, behave as a different switch. Let's do the configuration of this VLAN. Now, how first of all, let's discuss about how we can create the VLAN. Okay, so I will go to global configuration mode, put the command enable configuring terminal. Okay, now put a command VLAN 2 press enter it will and now provide the name of that VLAN let us uh, the name of the uh, VLAN is sales okay so I've just created a VLAN now let's create another VLAN VLAN 3 and also provide a name by putting the command name and name is HR so I have just created the VLAN okay now if I want to check the status of VLAN, just put a command show VLAN brief. By this command, you can check the VLAN available to the switches. You can see still all the interfaces are the member of VLAN 1. There, this is by default enabled VLAN. On every single switch, you will find that by default, all the interfaces are the part of VLAN 1. Okay, now I have just created two VLAN, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3, but no member is available here. No member is available in VLAN 2 and no member is available in VLAN 3. Now, there is, there is also some other VLAN that is unsupported. You don't have to focus on these, but you must have some knowledge about that. So these are four VLAN that is already reserved for the FDDI net, token ring default, FDDI TR net. Uh, okay, these are four VLAN. So these are unsupported basically. Now, how we can allot the VLAN member to these? So I'm just going to allot you the three or four in four interface to the VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. Okay. If I talk about this one, sales department has three PCs. And these PCs are connected to our interface FA0 slash 1, 2, 3. And on right side, the interface that connects the HR department is FA0 slash 1, uh, FA0 slash 4, 5, and 6. Now, let's allot the VLAN members. Okay. Go to, go to global configuration mode. Select the interface. Interface FA0 slash 1, 2, 3. Interface range fa0 slash 1 2 3 this will select all the three interface at the same time then put the command switch port mode access switch port access vlan 2 by this command the vlan 2 will be created the interface fa0 slash 1 2 3 will be automatically be become the member of vlan 2 okay now I will select the other interface as uh, interface FA0 slash 4 to 6, 4 to 6, interface range FA0 slash 4 to 6, then put a command switch port mode access, it, it will turn all the interface into access mode, then switch port access VLAN, which one? 3. So now, Interface 4 to 6 are the member of VLAN 3, basically. Okay, so this is how you can create the VLAN. As of now, after configuring the VLAN, we have isolated these two departments. Now observe that any update or broadcast from this the department is forwarding to other side or not. Okay, how we can do that? Just go to this PC and put a put any IP address 192.168.10.4 you can see the ARP will be generated this ARP request will be forwarded to the switch but it will only broadcast on the left side of the network that 
that is means no the right side depart, uh, department is not forwarding any data to the left side department that is means the department has been isolated now the isolation of department has been done that is means no broadcast from the left side is forwarding to the right side of the department okay so this is how we can isolate the department now dear all let's discuss about some theoretical part about this vlan from previous uh, practical what we have seen that vlan is the virtual local area network and it is the log logical segmentation of network it can be done on vlan 2 as, as well as 3 okay with the help of vlan we can break single vlan into multiple vlan information so this the size of vlan is 12 bits that is means maximum vlan can be formed is 4096 so what is the range of vlan that the range of vlan is what 124096 now dear all there are two types of vlan ethernet vlan and token ring vlan so this is unsupported in the market now token ring vlan is no longer available okay now there are there are some reserved vlan information the vlan 0 is by default available for the voice vlan okay if i talk about vlan 1 i already have seen all the interfaces are the member of vlan 1 there are two types of vlan standard vlan and extended vlan so we have divided the range of the standard vlan on the basis of some numbers so 1 to 1001 this range is available for the standard vlan you don't have to manually enable this this is by default enabled if i talk about extended vlan you have to manually configure or enable the extended vlan okay there are some other vlan information that has to be manual that are not unsupported by the switches these are 1002 3 4 and 5 so dear all this is not used by the switches no longer available these are fddi default active this is token ring vlan fddi net default and tr net basically fddi is used for fiber optic network but we are not using this this is also unsupported because to token token ring is, is still not used in the market so that is why leave these okay now the question is that where the vlan information is stored in the switches basically there is a flash memory in the switch in that the vlan database will be stored and that vlan database will be stored in form of a file that has extension or extension dot that this is the file extension for the vlan information stored in the flash memory okay now how to check this vlan database so dear if you want to check the vlan database just go to switch and put a command show flash let's observe this practically okay i will go to the switch and put a command what show flash so it will give me an answer that vlan dot that file is available okay and the total free byte is, is whatever is that okay so this is how you can check the vlan information if i want to delete this file if i want to delete the data of vlan i can delete the data by the help of what the by the help of a command delete flash whenever i will press enter it will automatically delete the file so there will be no vlan information available now okay so dear all <clears throat> let's discuss about standard and extended vlan so standard vlan is by default enabled but extended vlan must be enabled manually now how you can create the extended vlan there all there is a protocol vtp in which there is a more transparent mode in that transparent mode you can create the extended vlan so we are going to discuss about that in our next topic that is virtual that is vlan trunking protocol so these are the command to create the vlan information first of all change the mode of vtp to the transparent mode 
then you can create the VLAN by providing the command VLAN, then the number of VLAN. So the, the same processor will be followed then. I already have discussed, we already have practically discussed that how the interface will be, will be allotted to the VLAN. So if you want to create a single VLAN, just put a command, what switch, then put the number of VLAN. Like I want to create the VLAN 2, then just put VLAN 2 name. Like I want to create the VLAN, VLAN name HR. Okay. So this is how we can create the VLAN. And these are the command to access the ports like interface FA0 slash one or two. Then the command will be used switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN and whatever is that. Okay. Like VLAN two, three, four, just you have created. If you want to create multiple interfaces at the same time, if you want to allot multiple interfaces to the VLAN, so the command will be interface range FA0 slash one, two, three, like we have done one, two, four, 10 to 20. So any range can be taken here. So this is how you can allot the VLAN information. Okay. Now we, uh, this is the processor of allotting interface to the VLAN. So this, there are the three interfaces FA0 slash one, two, three. First of all, we have created the VLAN by putting the command VLAN to provided the name sales. Now I'm selecting the multiple interfaces, interface range FA0 slash one, two, three by this command. Then the next command used will be switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN two by this command. All the three interfaces will be the part of what VLAN two and will be isolated by the help of that. So dear all that is all about the, the VLAN information. If you have any confusion, please ask me in comment. Okay, have a nice day.